welcome to a brand new video from your host, Spudgas. Um, today we are making, as the title suggests, Welsh cakes. But I'm not making the Welsh cake. They are making the Welsh cake. Say hello. Hello. Today Wales are playing Ireland and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. So normally we would have chicken wings and Doritos. But no, today we thought we would do something a bit different and make Welsh cakes. Now, Welsh cakes are very traditional to Wales. They're also known as griddle cakes and stone bakes. But we are making them from scratch instead of going to Greg's and buying them because they're delicious from Greg's. So this here is the hot plate um, or griddle. You can use a, um, a frying pan. But apparently these are the traditional ways. It's back in the olden days, they used to just have massive slabs of metal they used to cook them on. I am currently reading the instructions and um, I've got some flour in a bowl. I've got eight ounces. What oh. ingredients? Show me the ingredients. We've got soft raisin flour. Ooh. We have currants. Ooh. We have... Not the way, mate. Not the way. An egg. An egg. One egg. One egg, castor sugar, some unsalted butter, Welsh, Welsh butter, Welsh butter, um, a splash of milk just in case we need to make the mixture a bit more of a doughy, um, and some salt. We forgot to add this mixed spice. It's very important that we stick mixed spice into the into the Welsh cake man. So I'm just finding out how much I need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as you can see. There's hardly anything. What the hell is that? There's hardly anything in a Welsh cake, but they taste amazing. If you've never had Welsh cakes before, I keep on going to the light and it keeps on going blurry. If you've never had a Welsh cake before, you need to make them because they are amazing. So whatever you're in the world, go and buy those ingredients that we just showed you. Um, the link will be in the description to what they are. Um, and yeah, go and make Welsh cakes. They're a little bit like scones, but you can eat these without having something with them, like jam or cream. But they are amazing with a cup of tea. <laughs> Come on, tell me. How are you going to make them? We're going to use some butter. Yeah, then what? Now we're going to put the egg in there, of course. Okay. So, man, what's first? So, I've got my flour in the bowl. And right. I'm currently just weighing... It needs... So, you need 250 grams of self-raisin flour. And 75 grams of butter. So I'm currying out. See, now this is the difference between Amanda and me. Where I would get the ingredients and I'd throw it in a bowl. I wouldn't measure anything. And normally it would taste shit. Or I would do it wrong. Or it would be too hard. But in this case, Amanda measures everything perfectly. So, let's see what she's doing. A bit too much butter in there. That's fine. Too much butter is good. in it, mate? Yes. Too close. So we got butter. We got butter. Great. Butter, butter. Do you melt the butter? No. You mean you basically gotta knead it into the flour with your hands. And what does kneading mean? I want so, to do it. I'm kneading. Have you washed your hands? Yeah. Wash your hands, you. You little scamp. Guys, just let you know, these hot plates get ridiculously hot. So if you do have kids, um, make sure they're quite far away from it and they don't touch it because these get um, the whole thing gets hot. So if you see a handle, you might oh pick it up a handle, you'll burn your hand off. So uh, don't do that. I have mixed spice, um, flour, and butter, and Logan's gonna needle it. Need? Need. He's gonna knead it. So basically, he's gonna just mix it with his hands. Um, I say keep doing it because this is how they used to do it back in the olden days, back in the 1900s, the early 1900s when Welsh cakes were discovered how to be made um, in the farmlands and stuff. I, 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 To be honest, I don't know much about the Welsh cakes. It's just no, that it's a Welsh tradition and um, they're very easy to make. Um, and they're fun as well, aren't they, mate? Yes. And fun, mate? Yes. Excellent. But also, I'm just gonna add a little shake of salt. A little bit more, a little bit more. The sugar counteracts with the salt mand. I'm measuring the caster sugar now. Caster sugar. And what? 75 grams of caster sugar. Ah! That's hot. Have you sprayed anything on that? No, you're not meant to. 
It looks like you sprayed something. No. Mmm. You got Logan there being a little slave. I, making I the mix. That's that. a lot of sugar. How much sugar is in there? 75 grams. So 75 grams of sugar goes into the mix. And Logan's just gonna need need that all together with his beard like hands. He hands, you Should we add the milk? Not yet. How are you gonna make them into little balls? You need to watch. I'm bored. I'm bored when I'm not cooking. I want to cook. It's not fair. So look at the mix, Logan. It's very crumbly, man. I know. Do we need to stick more butter in there? Are you sure. Well, oh, that's hot. That I can feel that burning my face. Right. So now what we, we do? Need to add some currants. Can, no. we, can we add more currants than it, than it says? Because I I like currants. No, you're just going to measure them out correctly. Yeah. According to the recipe. Whose recipe is it? It is on the back of the box for the stone. <laughs> hmm. So now that worries me. Oh yeah, if you don't know what wash cakes look like before before you actually cook them. That's what they're supposed to look like after they're all done. Oh, they look so nice. They need more sugar on them though. It's raisin. There we go. And you can put them in the as well. Yep. Oh, it's sweet. And now, yeah. I think it's best I do it. So the egg makes it runny, does it? It does. It makes it more like a kind of a doughy consistency. It's a lovely egg. What's that spot on the egg? I have no idea. I'm just going to stab it in the chest. I guess I'm a burnt plastic. What's that? It's probably because we haven't been eating for a little bit. Oh, that smells so good. Thank you, Dot, for this. It's good to see you of Nanny Dot. Nanny Dot's given us this, haven't she, to keep? No. Yes. <laughs> it's now ours, Dot. <laughs> no. Extract the fan on. Right. So that's all there. I made smoke. No, you can't eat it. I got raw egg. You got salmonella and have the remnants. Can I help? Can I help? Yes. I don't want to help. It's not my it's not my cooking. You are the master chef. Yeah. Master chef. I have to get out of the kitchen because the smoke was burning my face, my eyes. So, um, guys, if you have made Welsh cakes, or if you have any kind of like recipes to make some sort of like scones or something, put them in the comments, guys, because like obviously we're getting into cooking more at home instead of picking up the phone and ordering takeaways. Um. Welsh cakes are amazing. Um, I know a lot of people try and make their own, like Tesco's used to have a their finest range of Welsh cakes and they were really, really nice. But like, if you ever go to a market in Wales, I think at market anywhere really, you'll see like the cake section and in the cake section they normally have Welsh cakes. Um, any kind of market you go into in Wales, um, they will have Welsh cakes. Um, so the mixture is just a slightly bit wet, but that's fine, do you stick the milk in there? Um, I maybe just stick a little bit more flour in her, man. Hey. Should we stick some food colour in her? No. I'm just sick. Get it. I want the traditional ones. Cover them out of the way, please. Get out, you! Yeah, should we stick some food colour in her? No, I want the traditional ones. They look cool. Red! My dragon, guys, do you think we should make red Welsh cakes? Because the colour of Wales? <coughs> well, the colour of our jersey. <coughs> I'm choking on a raisin. So now, when the mixture is done, what are we going to do, Mand? We have to leave it to set for about 20 minutes. 
while that time you would um, basically get your griddle ready. Oh, so I turned it on too early? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, that's getting hot, and then this will look risen or set in there. And then you can start uh, laying out the flour, rolling out your mixture, and making the tatas. Cool. Well, I'll see you guys in a second, but it will be 20 minutes in our time. And go. So, what are you doing, man? You've got to put flour on top as well, mind. I do, I do. Um, you also need to make sure that your pin, the one of is flowered as well, otherwise it's going to stick. It's like a cookie. It is. Now it's up to you how thick you want to make your Welsh cakes. Um, we like them fairly thick, don't we? Yeah, like I don't want to think about like that, that, that's a nice depth. Yeah. Like I turned this on too early, so what we've done, we've turned it off and now it's back on, I believe. Yeah. It looked like a cookie dough. I wonder if he gets if he wants to buy some Welsh cakes. Freshly made, just for you. Can I eat a raw one? No. Give me a little bit of the raw dough, just a little bit. Yes. Give me a raw dough. And you don't stick no butter or nothing on there? No. Might better do it with hand, but... Like, I'll have washed his hands. Of course. How long do you bake them for? Um, and you griddle them. Until they're brown, really. Raw rash cakes. <laughs> There's something about raw egg, flour, and sugar. <laughs> mm. And butter. Flour, egg, sugar, and butter. And raisins. And mixed spice. That's it. And look at this. Ooh, that's There's the booze burning. This gets us hotter, see? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh, we nearly lost one. We nearly lost one. It smells like they're burning, so I'm gonna. Ah! So we've made a thing of sugar. And that's it. The test of taste! Mmm. They're very nice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Welsh cake. We'll have a taste test of Logan and Amanda too. Shut up, you. I'll have a taste. Dead raw. I'll give you one now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Mm. What do you think? What would you give it out of 10? 100 out of 10. 100? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh oh! We're uh, stuck! Get off! Come on, chef, taste your work! I'm gonna go for. 
this one. I can have like and subscribe. Got them all trained. Mmm. Yum yum. What's your verdict? Out of ten. I'm gonna go with good eight. Eight. Mm. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I just want to thank you all for. What's the weather? Nice. That's the first bit of fresh air I've had in about five days. Um, thank you very much for watching the vlog. If you do like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, obviously, give me a like. And don't forget to put in the comments if you've got any recipes or if you've got any experiences of coming to Wales or having any Welsh cakes. If you've ever had a Welsh cake, let me know. And if you don't have any Welsh cakes, we can make them and send them to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What are you going to do, man? What are they going to do? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, so thank you very much. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope everyone's staying safe. Thank you very much. Um, everyone stay safe. And I love you very much. <laughs> and what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Like and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, you all take care. I'll see you on, on the next one.